What is up you guys and welcome back. It's Samantha Renee with Fandomverse Comics back with more comic book news. So I already made a video for DC and all the future state that will be coming out this week but now it's time to dive into the Marvel and Indies that will be out on Wednesday. So stay tuned. Alright you guys, and the first one I am going to talk about is one that actually caught me off guard because I thought we just talked about this last week with Amazing Spider-Man number 55 and I thought we were done with The Last Remains. Well this week we have Amazing Spider-Man 56. And in the first sentence of the synopsis it talks about The Last Remains. I'm like, why can't we be done? We get more of the Osborns in, Osbournes in this issue as well. So, but the next one I'm going to dive into is going to be number one of the top three this week. And that's going to be crossover. Maybe not the number one, but it's going to be one of the three. And that's going to be crossover number three. And it's, I'm kind of excited because on one of the covers you do see Spawn. So if you don't know about crossover, it's like crossing over into all the comics. I mean, all the big ones. I mean, I, what last week there was possibly a Batman and this week is possibly a Spawn with writers and... Yeah, it's a lot of craziness, but I'm definitely for it. So the third one will be out this week as well. Next one, which is one I really am not looking forward to talking about, but I have to because, yeah. So it's going to be Eternals number one comes out this week as well. I'm only going to share the A and B right here, right now. But later in the video, I will share the rest of the covers as well. So with Eternals, they have like 30 different covers. I'm only going to share two, but honestly, the synopsis kind of sold me. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy it. Just because it's basically about the Eternals. They've been around for millions of years, secretly protecting the world against these kind of like demon creatures. There's been like this secret battle going on. And there's a, we, now we have a new version or a new vision of how this Marvel mythology is going to be. And I'm just like... Yeah, I'm here for that. So I'm not going to collect all covers, but I definitely am interested in reading the number one. See if it catches, you know, hooks me in or not. We'll see. And next uh, I will add onto this list is going to be Guardian of the Galaxies number 10, King of Black. Yes. So more of your still following along with the King of Black. That one will be out as well. And next we're going to talk about I love Inkblot. I literally love Inkblot. And it's not because anything crazy goes on in the story. It's just this cute little black cat that hops around in time and is going farther back in time. And it's just cute and fun and I love it. So that number five will be out this week as well. And let's talk about another big one out of the top three. And that's going to be Star Wars High Republic number one. So that will be out this week as well. And I'm honestly grabbing a cover for myself. And I'm going to read it because I, but the main reason why I want it is because of the cover, because one of the characters has my hairstyle. I know that sounds weird, but anyways, so it's pretty cool because it's like a prequel to the whole Skywalker thing and you get to see a new Jedi, new ships, new villains and evil going on in this issue. Well, not this issue, but in this new series and I'm excited. So I have already requested a couple for myself, but that one's going and there's three covers and I'll share all three right here. Then another one that's coming out for Star Wars is going to be Star Wars, I believe, number 10. Yes, Star Wars number 10 will be out this week as well. And I'm going to share those covers following that one. And next on my list is going to be Symbiote Spider-Man King in Black number one, which is a bunch of short stories in here. But you also get to see a character in one of those short stories make a reappearance. Kind of a big reappearance because it's a Captain Marvel, but not the one you're expecting. And I feel like this Captain Marvel might make her way to theaters. Well, I don't even know if theaters are around anymore, but might make her way to the movies whenever movies start rolling for Marvel. But yes, so that one might be one you want to snag. And she's also on the cover, hint, hint. So I'll share those right here. And another big one. So I guess I do have a top four. It's gonna be Thor 11. That one is being heavily ordered. A lot of people are asking for it. And I'm just like, okay. So you get more with Donald Blake, but he's basically stuck in the 10 realms and he's has death on the mind. So he's still around as much as I would like Dr. Donald Blake to just disappear, but he's here. And finally, let's talk about Venom number 32. So if you're following the King in Black and everything like that, you're definitely gonna want to snag a Venom 32. But those are honestly, 
all the books that follow for this week. And lastly, I do want to talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer number 21. A lot of people were asking about it and thought it was, co um, was coming out last week, but it'll be out this week on Wednesday. But those are all the comics I want to dive into for today. But stay tuned for my next video. And please do that social media thing where you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. So I'm going to just put all the Eternal covers right here. I'm going to let it go blank and just let them go. So you can have a chance to look at all of those. And also this week there was a lot of alien covers. A lot of people are wanting those alien variants or covers and I'll share those as well in case you missed those.